Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Dunner Report. I have another story here that I want you guys to uh, take a look at. Uh, I've seen some of her stuff and I've watched quite a few of her videos and uh, some of the things that she says regarding uh, people of color, especially black people. Her name is Tommy Lauren. Tommy Lauren, that's her name. Tommy Lauren, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Tommy Lauren and it's on a, a, a site called the blaze.com I like I said I normally ignore what the fuck she says because the thing she says is fucking irrelevant to me which I don't give a fuck and uh, just like uh, she's entitled to her freedom of speech just like I'm entitled to mine and just like uh, Colin Kaepernick is free to say what's on his mind and free to express himself she did a video about uh, about him uh, things that she said in which pissed me off but once again this bitch is entitled to her opinion because she's nothing but attention whore just like some of these women out here so let's watch the video Welcome back. Oh, Colin Kaepernick, I've got some final thoughts for you, bud. See, our buddy Colin decided not to stand for the national anthem because, well, this, he will not stand to show pride in a flag or a country that oppresses black people. For him, it's bigger than football. He would be selfish to look the other way. After all, according to Kaepernick, there are bodies in the street and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. So let me go ahead and eviscerate this mouth diarrhea for you sentence by sentence. Here we go. Colin, I support the First Amendment. I support your right to freedom of speech and expression. Go for it, bud. It's this country, the country that you have so much disdain for that allows you the right to speak your mind. It protects your right to be a whiny, indulgent, attention-seeking crybaby. It also protects my right to shred you for it. See, the national anthem and our flag, they are not symbols of black America, white America, brown America, or purple America, for that matter. There are patriots of every race that have fought and died for this country, and we honor the flag and sing the anthem as a reminder. And Colin, if this country disgusts you so much, leave. I guarantee there are thousands and thousands of people around the world that would gladly take your spot. Because those that don't live under this flag are begging on the door to get in, not get out. Remember that. Is our country perfect? No. But what have you done to make it better? What's your contribution? Sitting there like a fool? What selfish is you, buddy? And what's your message to black kids, to people of color? That their biggest contribution to justice and self-fulfillment is to parade around with a chip on their shoulder like a victim? And Colin, how dare you sit there and blame white people for the problems of minority communities? After all, aren't you half white? Didn't two white parents adopt you after yours weren't willing to raise you? For a racist and horrible country filled with racist and horrible white people, that's really something, isn't it? Maybe you should also decline the paycheck from the white owner of your team or the white fans that buy your merchandise and fill the stands to watch you play. There's a statement I don't see you making anytime soon. And Colin, who's getting away with murder? I'd like to see some evidence to back that up because that's a pretty strong claim. And what about the oppression of black people? It's funny, through that six-year career of yours, you choose to start sitting now? What changed to make you so resentful of your country? Please tell me how you're oppressed. Is it because the black unemployment rate is double what it is for whites, or the homicide rate, or the dropout rate, or the percentage in minority communities on food stamps? Well, we've had a black president for almost eight years now. Maybe he failed you. We also have a black woman in charge of the Justice Department. Maybe she failed you too. Or maybe it's the liberals, your saviors, which have run your communities into the ground. Where does the buck stop? When will those in black communities take a step back and take some responsibility for the problems in black communities? Because it seems to me blaming white people for all of your problems might make you the racist. But Colin, you don't care about any of that. You want to make a political statement. But here's the deal, Colin. I've got loved ones overseas right now fighting for your right to sit on a bench and bitch and moan about your perceived oppression while making $19 million a year to throw a ball. So show a little respect. And if you want to sit down, Now's the time on the bench because you suck. But perhaps you should stand up for the anthem. God bless from Dallas. Good night and take care. Wow, that's some pretty big stuff that you're saying about Colin, uh, Kaepernick, Tommy Lauren. 
really saying some pretty big stuff there. You know what? Uh, why don't you take a fucking seat? Why don't you take several fucking seats, okay? Uh, first of all, that man did not say that he hates America. One thing he said that uh, he's not too happy about the injustices against the people of color in the United States. Let's be real. The United States is one of the racist countries still in the fucking world today. You know, the things that you're saying about about black people, you know what? Uh, last time I checked, last time I checked, uh, this country doesn't belong to you either. You know, it was your people that came over here and killed the red man for this for this country, okay? Then try to make them slaves, but they wasn't going for it. They wasn't going for it. So what what your country did, what your people did, is went over to Africa, okay? We was already a free people. We were already free. It was you that came over there and brought death and destruction over there in Africa. Okay? Brought our people over here and made them slaves. So, uh, as I see it, you can go fuck off. You can really go and fuck yourself. Okay? Straight up. It was your people that took over this shit. Went over to Africa and brought our people over here. And made them slaves. Okay? It was your people that were raping our women. Our men. Okay? To produce more black babies. Okay? It was you that brought death and destruction over there in Hiroshima, Japan by dropping that A-bomb. It was your people that went over and killed Gaddafi. The list goes on and on. You even went over there in South Africa and took over South Africa, okay? There was no white white people over there until y'all went over there so who's the one that's the problem who's the one as I see it as I said that brother is allowed to say what is on his mind just like you were taught to say what's on your mind okay just because just because that white man signs his paycheck doesn't mean that he's a fucking slave. Okay? And and I and I applaud him. I applaud him. I wish there there were more black athletes out there that would say something. Not like that uh not like that coon Jerry Rice, but that's on another video. That's on another one. Do I hate white people? No. No, I don't. I don't hate anybody. But with the things that you say and others say about black people, you say it out of hate. The things I say about white people is out of the truth. And the things I'm saying about you and your kind, your people, about you people, okay? I'm going to throw that in there because you love, you love people like you love to say you people. And what's going on in the black community? Uh, I say it's 50-50 on that one. We're both at fault. But the problem that I have with my people in our communities, we need to start running to people like you to clean it up. We need to do that ourselves. We need to learn how to figure out and do things for ourselves. So, not all black people are blaming white folks for what's going on in the black community, okay? So you can't sit and say all black people. But it doesn't help when you, your people, are still breaking up black families today. And it's still done through mind slavery. And I'm going to tell you why it's through mind slavery, young lady. Through the welfare system. It's people like you are telling our women, hey, you don't need him. You don't need him pacifying the black women with welfare and foot and fucking food stamps. Breaking up 
the black families. Still doing it today. So how dare you tell that man if he doesn't like America, if he doesn't love America, then leave. Fuck it. Why don't we all fucking leave? Okay? Because you're not an original American and neither am I. So we both, we all need to pack up. Pack our bags and leave. But, unfortunate, I don't know where you were born at. Maybe you were born in fucking Canada or some fucking where. I don't know. But, last time I checked, I wasn't born in Africa, okay? I wasn't born in Africa. You took that away from us. You took that away from Cole and Kaepernick. It was you, your people. It was your people. I normally ignore the shit that you say. I know I normally ignore it. But this one, I had to say something. I had to say something. And if you get to see this video, you can call me all the names that you want. You can call me a nigger. You can call me an ape. You can call me a monkey. You can call me a gorilla, a orangutan, whatever the fuck you want. Because as I see it, like Malcolm X said, the U.S. Constitution was never meant for the black man. It was never meant for the black man. Fuck you. And I'm out. And don't forget, people, check out the dunnerreport.com.